Nokia is back. Hey guys, Gizmodic here and today we are taking a look at the Nokia 150 which is Nokia's NHMD's first phone in India. It is a basic feature phone and it sells for only 2000 rupees. Nokia is planning to bring their smartphones in India as well but as of now you have this feature phone in the market. Now I usually cover only smartphones on this channel but everyone loves Nokia and it's great to see them back. My first phone was from Nokia and in fact my first smartphone was also from Nokia. So I decided to buy this phone and make a video about it. So today we will be unboxing and taking a look at the Nokia 150 and if you want me to try and destroy this phone with drop test, water test etc then definitely vote on the poll linked in the i button in this video. So coming to the Nokia 150 it comes in this flat rectangular box that has a picture of the phone on the front. The phone as you can see is available in two colors black and white. On the back there's some information written about the phone so it has FM radio micro SD card slot, micro USB port, a battery with up to 22 hours of talk time and a headphone jack. So it's already more practical than my iPhone 7 plus which doesn't even have a headphone jack. You also have a 2.4 inch screen and a VGA camera with flash which sounds quite interesting. Anyways inside the box the first thing that you have is the Nokia 150. As you can see I went with the black variant and the phone actually looks quite nice. It feels good to hold such a compact phone after such a long time. And I don't think the battery is inserted into the phone because it feels really really light. You also have these images here on how to get started and insert the sim card into your phone. Further inside there is a set of earphones which are the good old Nokia type earphones. It's quite strange to see them inside the box of a 2000 rupee phone because even expensive phones now don't come with a set of headphones. Apart from that there's a wall adapter and a micro USB cable for charging the phone. You also have your quick start guide and some manuals which you probably don't need and then there's the battery for the phone. So it's a 1040mAh battery and the model number is BL5C which is strangely made by Microsoft. Now if you don't remember BL5C you are way too young to watch this but it is that battery that used to blast in some Nokia phones a couple of years back. Nokia did fix it though and got things right. So that's all you get inside the box of this phone, now let's put everything to the side and take a look at the Nokia 150 itself. Ok so here's the Nokia 150 and let me insert the battery and the sim card into the phone. So the 150 takes a full size sim card or rather two sim cards as it is a dual sim phone. So I had to actually put my nano sim into a micro sim adapter which in turn was put into a full size adapter. It's not recommended to do this but why not. Ok so let's boot up the phone. And this has probably been the fastest boot time on a phone on this channel. It just takes around 5 to 6 seconds to boot this phone which is great. So the Nokia 150 brings back a lot of memories about the old Nokia phones. You have your traditional keyboard layout, things like profiles, ringtones, go to shortcuts and games. Yes it does have the snake game and it's always fun to play that game. There is no internet, not even 2G on this phone so forget about WhatsApp or Snapchat as you can only send text messages or call people with this. It does have a VGA camera though and it does take some really good crispy photos like these. Well I'm just kidding the camera is crap obviously but you do get a flash which you can use as a torch. In fact there's a dedicated shortcut for that on the phone. The display has a 240 by 320 panel with a PPI of 167 so it would be better if we just don't talk about it. The keyboard is really nice though I mean although I'm used to touchscreen phones now nothing beats a physical keyboard. Apart from that, there's nothing much to talk about this phone, you have your usual uh, alarm clock and things like that on it, but apart from that, there's nothing on the Nokia 150. That is all this phone is about. Now obviously I won't be using this phone, so I thought why not do a destruction test on it and find out if Nokia phones are still indestructible or not. So if you'd like to see that destruction video, then definitely vote in the poll by clicking the i button or you can comment on this video as well. This was my Nokia 150 unboxing and overview. If you liked watching it and you like Nokia then definitely hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you are notified when I upload a destruction test of this phone. Do like my Facebook page, Twitter page and Instagram page and if you have any questions you can go ask me there. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.